All right, there we go. Hello. Jack, Hello. Audience. Jack is here. <laughs> Been a while. We didn't stream last weekend. No, we didn't. Uh, I was I was not doing well. Um, I'm doing better now, though. I got uh, I got two pictures I drew. Uh, they're hanging up now. Oh yeah. You've been yeah. drawn again? In front of me. No, the two pictures I did before. Oh, um, right, yeah. I'm, I want to get a tablet so I can draw. So, I am still in, like, final post-game area. You just got your eighth badge, and the only thing you yes. have left is the final stretch to the Pokemon League. Yes, and then I take out the Pokemon League. That's, that's the plan. Now... Where, uh, where is the Pokemon League? North. North of here? Yeah, and also you will, uh, you'll need Waterfall. Yeah, you mentioned that. Uh, I guess I'm putting it on, uh, Mr. Slug here. Or, maybe I can catch, like, a Pokemon to, uh... Is, is Waterfall a good move? It's fine, it, well, I... It's all it's a physical water attack. Like seventy power I think. It's water headbutt. Oh wow, his attack is actually pretty high. It's fine, what it's all it's a physical oh, water attack. Okay. Like Where do I get waterfall? Water headbutt. Oh wow, his attack is actually pretty Where is waterfall? Sorry, what were you saying? Is Gastrodon a does he have any physical attack? Uh yeah, he's got he's got ten less than special. So, uh, where do I get Waterfall? Do you have it? I don't- I don't know if I do. I think you picked it up in the snow. I think you already have it. For some reason, if I remember correctly, it was just sitting around in the middle of that snowstorm. I do not have it. Maybe- maybe, uh, Jasmine has it? Alright, where's Jasmine? North. Okay. He was just hanging out. Like, hey, I live in a town with a lighthouse, too. Hey, do you have waterfall? Oh, yeah, day is saved. There we go. I got it. Electrobuzz and... Electrovire, sorry. Hello, Darian. Yeah, an another new evolution that we won't get to see. Well, I guess we're seeing it now. This is the extent of what we get to see of it. Yes, randomly. Oh, I was thinking about uh, potentially going back to streaming on YouTube. Just because oh. it's easier for some people, and we're not, it's not like we're making any money on Twitch anyway. But Yeah. No, that's fine. I could, I could do that too. I don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. It's a lot of work to do the, the transition and everything. You know, so we'll you know see. that that uh, most of the uh, Hollow Live, uh, everybody on Hollow Live streams on YouTube. Yeah. So. Rest also, in peace, think... Mixer. Ninja was not enough. <laughs> I, that reminds me of uh, of when uh, Critical was playing. Uh... I'll get rid of. Water. I, I guess water pulse. Yeah, you don't need to. Well, the surf and muddy water are redundant, but. Actually, yeah, I'll get rid of muddy water. Muddy water is a better surf, but. Well, it's lower accuracy. Yeah. It, yeah. Rather have. Yeah, I get rid of muddy water. Uh, so. The new Smash characters came out a couple days ago, and I mentioned yes. on yesterday's stream that you got a Switch again. Yeah, I got it. You, you, yes, a Switch. That, uh, thank, thank you, by the way, yeah. once again. It was a gift, but I didn't give you any games, so you've had to, you've had to get those. I got, I got, a, I got uh, Breath of the Wild. I've been playing a little bit of it. I, I've been enjoying it. I'm still and trying. Then, uh, I'm still staying blind until we eventually stream it. Is my plan. Yeah. Which is fine, which means I'll point you in the right direction. We won't be just wandering That'll through. That'll be one the, of those oh rare streams that I'm blind to and you're not. That'll be fun. That's that's what I always intended to happen eventually. Yeah. Oh my god. We also gotta we gotta do uh, 
now that we're down to, for the time being, like one stream a weekend, probably cut down to like two games that we're playing. So we finish yeah. this. We're still playing Hat in Time and A Way Out. And the next yes. one we're gonna we gotta start is Twilight Princess. We gotta get through Twilight. that so we're ready for Skyward Sword. Yes. Which is on which it's is coming finally... to switch. Yes, that'll be fun. No motion controls. Whoopee! Finally no motion controls. I mean we could give them a shot if, you know, Joy Cons no. worked. <laughs> Man, remember when Nintendo could make controllers? <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, they made one... Good, they made a controller that was pretty good with the GameCube one. Oh, they used to make great big... stuff. Nobody really likes the uh, N64 controller, amazingly enough. That was okay. I mean, in terms of, like, hardiness, they used to make their their stuff, like, nuke-proof. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's not... That's what you mean. It's not hardy anymore. Like, setting aside the design itself... Planned obsolescent. And again, the I get the. On, what, am I doing? what else had an analog stick at the time that the N64 was kind of the pioneer in that regard? No, it was it was PlayStation. PlayStation had the. The PlayStation which, at launch did not have joysticks. Those came later in no, the PlayStation's life. No, but they but life. they invented it. But you know what, what the first thing was that had joysticks? Arcades. Well, yeah, Arcades I know. Were but the first I'm, ones what I'm asking joysticks. is did the PlayStation controllers that came later with analog sticks added, did those happen before the N64 came out? That is a good question. I do not know. I think there were some third-party controllers that used joysticks, actually, for, for NES, of all things. I don't know what the Saturn had. I think the Saturn kit would... Oh, man. I, I've i never played a Saturn game. I have no I idea. Well, to. Yeah, I'm going to look this up. What does a Sega Saturn controller look like? We never did that stream of Sonic R either. No. Uh, no, it's just uh, it's just a Genesis controller. It's a Genesis controller with six face buttons. Is the Saturn controller? Oh. Okay. Super effective. You dumb fish. PlayStation. One controller. Wikipedia. That's all you had? This is hard. <laughs> I'm going to challenge you, lose. This is hard. Excuse me for wearing my bikini. You're in the water. Are you supposed to be wearing a wetsuit? Challenged by a swimmer, Aubrey. Pokemon swimmers are so flirty. April 25th, 1997 was the, pr the premiere of the dual analog controller. Okay. Predecessor and to DualShock. Nintendo 64. June 23rd, 1996. So N64 came first. Jeez! That's interesting. It, it was the, the first stick. home console controller with an analog stick that I'm aware of. Granted, only a year later, PlayStation did get it much better. Yeah, they did it. Or they did it a lot better. It's, it, oh, it's the it's the culling PUBG story. <laughs> culling PUBG and then Fortnite. I don't Fortnite. care that you did it first. We're gonna do it better. It's not about who does it first. It's about who does it best, darling. As you manly. Oh, so, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned on stream, or if I just talked to you about it. Well, first off, we did, we watched the Kim Possible movie, so you're caught up on that. Yeah. Now. Yeah, well, caught up. I watched, I watched a movie about, about us, about a, a woman who is not a spy. She just does as a hobby. 
Just a hero for a hobby. She was she was fucking like underpowered Saitama. Yeah. I thought you know what? I, I, I thought that for sure that she was like like some kind of like experiment in super soldiers. Just because She got all the just stats because... except luck. Ron got the max luck stat. Yeah. But yeah, she was just like super perfect just talking on her phone about about boys as she was like doing secret agent stuff and and there's this one girl in high school that just hated her inexplicably despite the fact that she could probably fucking kick your ass multiple times over i love smoke bomb i'm so glad i can just run from every fight i don't feel the need to just despite fight being a slug <laughs> pop and smoke Ooh, that music. I train at a Pokemon gym too. Don't think you're gonna win easily. Let me fight. Oh, you train at a gym. Oscar the swimmer. Oh no, I don't want to fight this guy. He's got a vampire girlfriend. Didn't Atari 2600 have a joystick? Yeah, that, yeah, that was like a, a joystick joystick though, not a controller that later added a joystick. Yeah, we're talking about like one that you could just use your thumb rather than wrap your entire hand around. Thumbstick is uh, is what we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, so after I finished Kim Possible, I went was something else to watch. I went back to finish the Powerpuff Girls because like 2 years ago, I'd done a rewatch of it on Netflix, but they only had the first 4 seasons. Oh, yeah? And so I watched the last two that had not been on Netflix, and they were not not very good. The, la the last couple seasons of Powerpuff were kind of already the start of the spiral that led to the rework that we don't speak about. Yeah, the... with bliss. <laughs> and twerking. Yeah, the fucking... Like, there was this one YouTuber who was like, Wait, why are they twerking? And then that was squeeze another episode. Why are they twerking again? <laughs> I haven't watched the new Power Puffs, and I don't. I don't plan to. No, it's it's, it's unnecessary. But it got it's just very very pandering and very weirdly like uncomfortably right leaning at times in the last couple seasons. Like, like there's infamously. I don't think this was season five and six. This was a little earlier. There's infamously that, uh, you know, the Feminazi episode with the Give me all your Susan B. Anthony coins. That yes. villain. Susan B. Anthony only. Was ki ki kinda on the nose. Yeah. Uh, the hippies one you were talking about. Yeah, there was the other. Th this was season five, I think. There was an episode where the girls couldn't fight Mojo Jojo because a bunch of hippies were defending him, and every time the girls tried to fight him, he would say, I'm being oppressed. And that was the whole plot of the episode. Because, <sighs> you know, animal Bloody rights peasants. activists, fuck those guys. Bloody peasants. The final episode of the show in season six was especially bad. It, it involved, like, uh... Like an evil gypsy swindling rich guys out of money, and she was the bad guy because you know she was the gypsy. She was evil. No, I like I like my I like uh, the magical uh, gypsy from uh, from Hunchback of Notre Dame, where she was she was just trying to. Were they stealing things in Hunchback of Notre Dame? Uh, they they were, like I think they they did have thieves. They were thieves, but oh, but so yeah, it was treated in a more sympathetic selfish. manner, like. That's what they have to do because they are treated as second-class citizens, and it's the 1400s, yeah. and everything's awful. <laughs> everything's awful in the 1400s. I mean, just look at fucking Judge Claude Frollo. Would you believe there was an episode in which the entire town's collective farts come together to form a methane monster for the girls to fight? The that, final that joke sounds... of the final episode was Mojo shitting on the toilet, by the way. 
Just thought you'd, li you'd like to know that. Boy, it went out with a bang. Yes, sir, those final seasons. Did you, did you ever see the movie? I, d I did watch the movie. The movie was... Yeah, eh. it was better. It was better than that. It still wasn't, like, amazing. I actually watched the... One of the last things I watched was the Christmas special, which was, like, at the end of the episode list, despite being, like, season two or season three when it was made. Yeah. And I, I, I like, laughed a couple times. I'm like, wow, this was when the show was good. I remember this. So I guess it's nice to know that the entire show wasn't necessarily terrible. It just kind of fell off hard at the end. Yeah, maybe because the original creator left. I, I don't know. Could be. The writers, something or other. There's an episode. How are you even fighting those two? It's Rayquaza. It takes a while. Oh, there are plenty of infamous episodes in the, in the remake as well, which is why I'm avoiding it. The, the, twer the twerking two, ones, the Darian's talking about the episode where a writer self-inserted himself as a character that Blossom had a crush on. What? <laughs> And he was like this guy with a dorky face and glasses, but he was all big and buff. It was so self-insert fanfiction. What the fuck? What is going on at Cartoon Network, man? It's like you got that shit, but at the same time, you got shows like Steven Universe. Which gets cancelled after five seasons. Cancelled? I think they were done with it after five seasons. No, they. it was... It was not renewed for a sixth season, and season five, as a result, is a few extra episodes in length so that she could oh. wrap up the story. Okay, that is... That, Which that is part of why people have a problem with it. It's a little rushed. I think she did well with what she had. Yeah, okay. Well, I can't wait to see how it comes off. That'll be interesting. Adventure Time got like 10 seasons and is now doing an HBO thing. Did Adventure Time really need to, uh, ten seasons? I don't know. I, I, I I'm not a. I, I'm, I know that show has fans. I did watch yeah. through it. It, it, was, it wasn't bad, but I, I didn't. I didn't love it. I don't know how many how many regular show got. Powerpuff got six plus two attempted remakes. <laughs> Fucking I'm, I'm sad. It's just it's a sad, slow train wreck to watch that franchise. Power of franchise. But they really want this. How many seasons is Family Guy up to? 20? <sighs> Fucking Family Guy. That... Why is that show still going on? It's fucking Family Guy. Like, for, for reals, it doesn't need to keep going on. Yeah. The same could be said with The Simpsons, but at least it's just kind of generic now. It's not... As opposed to trying as hard as possible to offend everyone. Hey, you know and what? at least Let's South Park age. does it to a positive end, like they're trying to make commentary. Oh man, they got a new special about the vaccine coming out, and I, and I think they're going to be talking about QAnon. Oh yeah. Probably in a negative way. You know how I would hope so. <laughs> they, some, Matt Soda Trey Parker suddenly come out as believing that, that they're a part of QAnon. They're not really fully like, super left or super right. Like, they, they shit yeah. on Al Gore all the time in the show. Well, they did, except they t except when global warming turned out to be real, they actually had Man Bear Pig attack everyone. Yeah. Because they were like, oh, oh shit, he's right. Um, Oops. Okay, I guess, Ma I guess Man Bear Pig could be real, too. Maybe this joke we've carried on for, like, 20 years might have been ill-informed? At least if they fuck up, they, they, they admit it. Yeah. They don't double down and go, no, actually, you're the one who are wrong. Actually, you lost the election. <laughs> God, I, I wish that they that they did an episode about that. Just 
sir, you, you've lost the election. No, god damn it, I actually won. You hear that? Like an episode where Cartman keeps getting his ass kicked and he keeps saying, but actually I won. Because... Oh, the Baki method. <laughs> Technically, I didn't lose to you, Jiro Hanma. Because I died. <laughs> That's, that will never not be funny. Just him, just being like, no, actually, I didn't lose because. I'm actually gonna try starting that uh, that ladybug show. So I'll, g I'll give you a field report on how that goes. Marvelous ladybug. How marvelous is marvelous, Ladybug? You're gonna have to tell me. I got, I got it in French. I, I, I probably okay. watch it in its original language first. Yeah. I also of, found. Uh, oh, the Wakfu method. Yeah, I found French Code Lyoko, and I might try Witch. Do you remember that existing? It's like a French magical Witch? girl show. No, I, I, I've never heard of Witch. I know That's very little about it, Witch. other than that it's a French magical girl show. I remember there was a movie called The Witch, except they spelled witch with two V's. Two V's? Two uh, uppercase V's. Oh, okay. I don't know what... Oh, shit. I got it. Oh, fortunately, I'm type poison, so... Just does normal damage. Giga Drain. Oh, that's normal damage because he's part poison. Shit. Wait, but Giga Drain is a special attack, right? Yes. Okay. So your it's your good. shit's not. It's neutral because he's poison water, though. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't realize that until just now. I, I gotta switch off my Moltres. I'm kind of zoning out. Really, all I have left to see is what random Pokemon has replaced. Volcano thing. <laughs> I said this last time. What a downgrade from going to f going to capturing gods to here's this thing in a volcano. This this is your bonus legendary. Uh oh. So since the previous stream of this, yeah, Gen Four remakes. Ye oh, they they've been announced. They've been announced. Uh, cool. Brilliant diamond and shining pearl. Brilliant diamond. So you didn't see the, you didn't see the trailer, or the no, presentation or anything. Uh, they kind of went uh, Link's Awakening route, and the art. Oh, is, they... the art is all chibi. Oh, okay, sure. And a lot, some, a lot of people aren't on board with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're being so lazy. You wanted a remake? What? What? what you want? Well, because the previous ones have been in line with the current generation of Pokemon, like Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, oh. was like full 3D roam around, like X and Y at the time. Oh, but they. they so now you have Sword enough. Shield versus, you know, it's it's still on a grid. It's just a little chibi, and kind of, kind of sterile, plastic looking. The art style. Uh, so I'm. I'm guessing Pokemon is quickly going to hit to hit it hit a uh, nadir. And starting with, I mean, we've we're just finishing this game. Th this was not, in my opinion, a strong generation. Yeah. It's, uh, well, then I guess uh, the, the the generation's getting the uh, the Pokemon game that it deserves. Platinum did better. Platinum solved some problems. We populated the world with more Pokemon. So I'm assuming. These will probably do that? God, I hope they do. They're oh, gonna be in they trouble don't. if they don't. They, they don't. They're just like, no, they, they, they will put out the Platinum Remake. <laughs> Pokemon Cash Platinum. Bling, bling. <laughs> no, they're gonna put player. out two versions of Platinum, because they know they can do it, and people will buy two versions. God damn That's it. That's what they did with Sun and Moon. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Well, what would they have called it? Pokemon Eclipse? Star was the popular fan title. 
Oh, Pokemon Star. That would have been good. Cool. Which they'd never done that for any previous generation. They never had two director's cut versions. They had Black 2 and White 2, but those were like full sequels with a whole new story and a whole new chunk of overworld. There was a whole lot of stuff. And then Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon didn't really have a lot of new stuff. It was just like Emerald, but they put out two versions because people would buy two versions. Yeah, people have been proven to be, uh, I wouldn't say gullible, but just... If you're a diehard fan, you'll eat up whatever. It's the, just the nature of the business. Things that are popular tend to become more popular. The nature of fandom. Oh, and in addition to the remakes, the Sinnoh remakes, uh, Pokemon Legends was announced. What the hell is that? Uh, so, it's basic, from what we saw in the trailer, it's basically Breath of the Wild Pokemon. Okay. It's look. It, it's like re, it's in the style of Sword and Shield graphically. It's not chibi. Okay. It's not a mainline game, and it takes what? place in like the pat the ancient past of Sinnoh, and you're in like an open world setting, and it, the plot ancient, involves Arceus. Ancient past Sinnoh. That is so weird. It is it. We don't. We didn't get a lot of information about it. Like we don't know if there's like turn-based combat. It, because it can't be Breath of the Wild. You don't have a Pokemon trainer jumping around on guardians with a sword. That'd be so cool, though. <laughs> what if they did that? It's like no, fuck it. We'll do it this way. Also, the fact that it has that subtitle. It's Pokemon Legends: Colon Arceus. Suggests that there could be more, I guess? Pokemon Legends, colon, uh... I don't know, some Gen 5 Legendary. Ah, oh, shit, this is Gastrodon, isn't it? This is not This is not a good type of damage. Get out of here. Well, that could be anything. It uh, hits normally, but for little damage. Get out! Be gone! Oh, that's... Ah, shit. Crunch is not going to work well, because no. fighting is strong against Crunch. Uh, against yeah, Thunder Fang. It's neutral. Yeah. I was hoping that he had, like, a fucking... Okay, that was a crit. Oh, no. Wait, he's a loon... Electivire is immune to rollout. What is he? Roll out? I don't know what type my rollout is. Uh. Also, recently I've kind of been out of games to play. I started Shin Budokai on the PSP. Ah. And how's that going? Pro probably for the best that I didn't go into a blind stream of it because we wouldn't gotten very much. It's on the Budokai 3 engine, but a really, really watered-down version of it. Oh, jeez. Like, you know, you remember in Budokai, like, square was punch and triangle was kick? Uh, yeah. In this, like, There's square... There's only one attack button? Well, a square is light and triangle is heavy, I think. Uh, there's no combos into, into special moves. Like, there's no punch, oh. punch, 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 Kamea. The special moves are just their own inputs that you can do. That sounds lame. There's just, like, fewer mechanics. It's it's just very not very satisfying to play. Also, it's, uh... Obviously didn't receive nearly as much budget. Because it's it's really sloppy with the translation and the, and the presentation. <laughs> how, how sloppy is, is the translation? Well, more so the presentation. Like, it, 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 okay. the font looks funny, and uh, there, there's a couple awkward-sounding English phrases and things like that. Oh, man. That, that, sound, that sounds like the most interesting part of that game. And it's also attempting to, like, uh, it, it's trying to adapt the plot of Fusion Reborn, but doing, like, a, like a Bleach DS thing, where, oh, like... Really? They're adding more stuff to it? They're, tr they're trying to, but making no sense with how they're trying to write it. 
And they're also trying to do a thing where, oh, all the, the, the dimensions are crossing and, uh, <laughs> and all these villains are back. Which, granted, is more than Fusion Reborn actually did, because the villains that came back were all just punked out in that movie. It's just kind of a mess of a game. <laughs> but it's also just, like, too long to do in a single stream, so... Yeah. It just wouldn't have been worth it. I'm playing it to, like, get to the weird stuff that is supposedly in the games, like Super Saiyan 3 Broly or whatever. Oh, yeah, so when I cool. finish it, I'll give you a trip report on how that went. <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Kakarot! Oh, Darian is reminding me there was a Dragon Ball Evolution game on the PSP. How you also basically that. built on the Budokai engine. You know what? I ain't got time for this. Screw this Electivire. I ain't got time for this. Oh, no. Stark Mountain? I didn't know the Starks had a mountain. Game of Thrones, except it's Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of Tony Stark. There was, that was actually a fanfic where uh, Tony Stark was like a was like a uh, cousin was like a, a cousin of uh, of uh, Ned Stark and he made weapons and shit. Yeah. In the Game of Thrones setting. Yeah. There's also Coyote Stark. Maybe this is his mountain. Cut. Ooh. <laughs> Coyote Stark is Ned Stark is in a Ron car. <laughs> I hope I hope what you've got a Pokemon a Center. A what? I, I said I hope you've got a Pokemon Center. I would not do too much exploring because, as I remember, this is probably the worst, like, uh, victory road. The worst, huh? Like the the most annoying to navigate, most full of trainers. Oh, jeez. Well, that sucks. Uh... You still do have a King's Ransom in Rare Candies, if you get into a real bind. Yeah. I'm gonna boost him up a little bit. Just in case. Inter pop these energy steroids! Oh, recover! Okay. <laughs> yeah, put that on a tank. That won't be broken. Bye, Water Pulse. I don't need you anymore. Recover! <laughs> I am a I can regenerate my- he just rips off his arm and he can grow another one. You've effectively got a slime now. Join the club. <laughs> we got a I game. think the difference what? between the reception of Link's Awakening and the reception of the Pokemon remake is that, uh... One uh, is like a Zelda game, so it's that, that kind of style is is is, is it, that. Well, you know what I mean. It's it's probably what you said as well. With, it's the uh, fact that there's a precedent with the Pokemon series, and also that I mean, there's a much bigger gap between Link's Awakening and the original and the remake because that was a Game Boy original title, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a Game Boy original title. Then they. Ported it to Game Boy Color as uh, Link's Awakening DX, and then, uh, and then, yeah, that was the last we've seen of that game until uh, they they 
release it for the Switch. Like, if they had not done any Pokemon remakes, and they suddenly announced a remake of Pokemon Red and Blue, and it looked like that, I don't think people would care. Calm Mind? What is Calm Mind? Uh... Special Attack Freezes. and Special Defense. Mostly a physical attack. All, all physical attack moves on him. Yeah, I don't need a raise special attack. I don't need your mind calm, Wu Tang. I just need your fists blazing. Oh, you know, just a Ho O -Oh and a Rayquaza hanging out in a cave together. <laughs> Normal sight. Oh, it's got Dragon Dance! We got a game gameplay trailer of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in Fighter Z, ended with a special cutscene of Blue Gogeta versus 4 Gogeta. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Oh man. <laughs> it's weird how that's a game where you have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta versus Yamcha, and Yamcha could probably kick his ass. Oh, that's something that happened in uh, in Shin Budokai. So the. It uh, builds on the Fusion Reborn plot of, you know, hell opening up and all the bad guys coming back. Broly yeah. is one of said bad guys. And uh -huh. of all people, fucking Yamcha and Tien are the ones that have to deal with Broly. <laughs> I don't think they're even playable characters. The plot is the, just them running for, like, a length of the plot until someone else has time to come help them. You know what? That's fair. I, I, I wouldn't want to fight Broly. We can't even solar flare. That would revolve getting in, in within distance of him. <laughs> that would revolve him seeing us, and we don't want that to happen. Somebody's gonna be like, "Man, this is boring. Why doesn't he just grind for the board like everybody else?" And I'm like. You know what? A, you can watch the other screen, watch him fight the god birds all day, and B, grinding is not a good way to to, uh, to pass the stream time. This was the first generation that I had to stop and grind before the Elite Four, the first time I played it. Yeah. That's not good. Not good game design. So what just, might you just... need? You should make sure that you have, like, strength, rock smash, rock climb oh, in your party. Gosh. Oh, and surf. Maybe water. <sighs> they really, they really fucking... So you just need yeah. Lord Slug and your HM buddy. Flare Blitz? What is Flare Blitz? These are cloaks itself and fire charges and sustains here. Oh, it's double edge, except. Oh, oh. I'm gonna get. Oh, man. What is Flame Wheel? Uh, 60. May leave a burn? But, eh. Yeah, versus. Just go Flare Vent, just Flare Blitz. Full power, man. Call mine, who needs it? Sun Wu Tang. The, the, the candle that burns twice as bright burns half as long, long. I looked away. They took out my juggernaut. How'd they get my god slime? <laughs> so you said strength, rock climb, and what else? Uh, like strength, rock climb, and rock smash. Oh, Probably be good gosh. to have. Uh, you have all those on like an HM Pokemon, don't you? I know, I do. Like your your Bidoof. But do God damn it, Becky. Discharge. What is discharge? Flare of electricity is loosened to strike all Pokemon in battle. <laughs> Wait, including mine? Uh not the user, but if you're in a double battle, then yes. Okay. Uh, it's actually stronger than Thunder Fang. Let me get rid of Swagger. Swagger or Roar. 
swagger because it's it confusion does not work well for me. Yeah. Uh oh. What? What happened? Volcano bitch fucked me up. I, this guy I'm traveling with only has one Pokemon. And it's fucking Shuppet. Yeah, he's, got, he's not even a evolved Pokemon. What's he doing here? This is the post post game. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, Damn. I'm gonna be the best! This is like the. I think he's the kid brother of Nabashine. Oh. The guy, the guy you met, Flint, who's a member of the Elite Four. DBZ Kakarot is coming out with a new DLC chapter. Instead of expanding into Super or GT, they want to tackle the Future Trunks arc. That is Super. That is literally Super. I guess they're just, like, skipping the rest of it. They're gonna, like, adapt. Or may maybe he means, like, specifically... Wait, you like the yeah. part with Cell? You guys, stop! He's not black! Uh, an unfortunate line. They had to know, though. <laughs> Fucking Zero Mortals plan. I guess it's a good thing this guy is hanging out in this cave. It's not really that far from canon. There's just a bunch of them. Or I'm just knocking out the same one over and over again. I'm not finished with you! The event between Trunks and future Gohan. So the cell part. Like oh. the, the the history of Trunks special. It's interesting. If Goku's I guess. gonna be there, I'm gonna change the future. What part of... what? How much does DBZ Kakarot encompass? Like, the base game. Did save. Like, up to the end of the cell arc? God damn it, fucking Victory Road. Oh, I gotta get my HM buddy. I should have tried to flee. I, I don't like this guy. This guy owns this cave. I am Heatran. Get a smoke bomb on something and just flee from everything. Yeah, I could. Do you have a smoke bomb? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, everything's random. I might not. Let's see, smoke bomb. I have smoke bomb. I'm just gonna abuse the fuck out of it. So, what kind of creatures are in are in Victory Road? What what types mostly? Uh. Rocks, probably. I don't really... Re rocks and steel, I want to say. I think there's, like, Steelix hanging out. Oh, okay. Rocks and steel. So water, uh, grass, electric? Oh, wow, all these types would be would be useful. I'll get rid of Method Man. Toxic orb, life orb. There it is. Good. All right, are you the one with uh Yeah, you you have Oh, this one's got rock climb and rock smash and the other one has fucking You can just they're HM, you can teach them. Oh, this one has rock smash as well. Okay. Oh, whoops. All right, Stacy, get over here. Okay. Do I gotta revive? I gotta have revives. Yeah, I got lots of revives. Little revive. Pack of all three arcs. So, like, Frieza, Cell, and Boo. Their first DLC Please was Battle of the Gods. Okay, so they did Beerus, and then they backpedaled to, like, 
Sid Trunks' cell timeline. The only person not able to use strength is Tux. I never really got the appeal of the, of the Trunks future cell saga. I, I, it, se it seemed covered enough just in the base cell saga that I didn't feel the need for a Trunks special. Well, you're, we, gotta, we gotta change the future so that we can change the past. I'm just remembering that fucking uh, fake trailer for uh, for Terminator Genesis, where they're like, like I know the future. You came back to the future, I know, but Kyle, he keeps sending back Terminators. He's out of control. But how do I still exist? You don't. What? But then how do I become Kyle's dad? But how can I become John's dad? Damn it, Kyle! Stop trying to have sex with me. This is an interesting symbol. That oh oh no oh no get out of there. Let's just leave Actually, this room. Burn burn it to the ground and then get out of there. <laughs> you... <laughs> they were fucking using that on that conference. Well, not that. Well, very. It was a little bit different, but yeah, there was a recent controversy about some game using a. Nordic symbol that was also used for, for like Nazi propaganda or as a symbol for them. Yeah. And they did. did and then that was it? also the shape of the stage for the conservative so political much... action conference. Conservative <laughs> political action conference. Where they were just saying, oh man, we've got to do something about all the minorities. Is that. Uh, get that right? That's I, I don't know. Ask your dad who I, follows that stuff. He doesn't follow that stuff. He just he just makes fun of that stuff. Trump's like, I'm, I might run for president again. I might do it. He's got a charmillion. Ah, oh. I forget what, I think it was the, the Way Out stream. We talked about Hogan's Heroes briefly. briefly. It was yeah. a World War II Nazi prisoner of war camp. So I was, I was like halfway okay. there. Alright. Was it a concentration? No. Prisoner. Hogan! avoiding trainers now. Just like, no, I'm not fucking around with these trainers. Oh god, I gotta fuck around with this trainer. Oh, I got put to sleep. Yep. Because he sang Charm Charmeleon sang to you. Bird Keeper. Oh, you got a knocked owl! Damn it! It got recovered now. So I can't oh. actually even see the heat ran replacement. I forgot you have to go to the end of the cave, do a thing, go back out, and then go back in a second time later. Oh no. Oh, I almost got it. I should have used Surf. What did you use? Waterfall? Yeah. Is that all you got? You brought a spoon to a spork fight, buddy. There's supposed to be the occasional audio chug. Uh, it happens rarely with this emulator. We're running uh, two instances of Melon DS at the moment. That's how we do this. Are you intimidated? 
Oh, no, wait. I'm intimidated. I can't wait for it to whip out close combat. Star Raptor's just gonna kung fu you to death. Because for some reason it can do that. <laughs> it's got it's just scratch. It's kung fu bird versus kung fu bird. Uh, will you do this? Apparently someone recently got a, uh, Someone made a fully JavaScript PlayStation 1 emulator that can run in a oh, browser. Wow. Oh, yeah? It works surprisingly well. JavaScript is still useful. People don't like JavaScript, but... It's got its what else are they going to use? Flash? <laughs> Too soon, man. An Onyx. That's nice. Thank you, Onyx. Thank you for showing up. It's it's, it's such like a, a Maple Story Pokemon, the the slug of yours. It's got like a little baby voice, a little happy, little cutesy face. And it kicks it's ass. a slime and it just wrecks everything it touches. <laughs> Maple Story. That's still going. Is, is, are the servers for Maple Story One still going on? Yeah. Despite there being a Maple Story Two. No, that Maple Story Two shut down. <laughs> it failed. I did not know that. I did not know that actually. They gave up on it. Why? I guess no one was playing it. Everybody was like original Maple Story better. Wait, what are you doing? Maple Story's 2D. You can't make it 3D. That's not how it works. But but you can't pop a squat. And <laughs> I might say that it was kind of a unique kind of 3D in the same way of like uh, Mario 3D World, I guess. Yeah. But, alas, nobody liked it. Oh, I have to, uh, manually use Rock Smash, huh? No, those, are, those aren't smashable rocks. Oh, really? They're and just decorative. The oh, God damn it. Alright. Man, Pokemon... It, either the terrain must be, like, ultra-powerful, or Pokemon aren't all they're cracked up to be. If there's just non Pokemon crushable rocks. Then again, it's not like they're Digimon, where like all of the descriptions say like that, oh this pu this Digimon's punch is equivalent to a nuclear warhead. <laughs> and it Digimon an descriptions sound like like school kids making up shit, just trying to say my monster is stronger than yours. That's what just... every Digimon description reads like. So is that is that like then what Baki is like, where they're just hyping up other people's powers? Fucking guy, I'd be like, nothing can kill him, not even a nuke. <laughs> maybe, maybe exaggerating that a little bit there. And then the guy who like fucking died to avoid Yujiro killing him, and then uh... oh, I showed the uh, I showed my. Some uh, Baki. Yeah. He, he's very amused by the uh, facial expressions. Yeah. That's another just draw for people at the show. Yeah. And uh, among other stuff, I'm like, he's like, hey, you find it enjoyable? Like, yeah. Yeah. This is this is pretty funny. Well, apparently, Darian. Got a hold of one of the voice actors from Castlevania 64 and got him to oh, yeah? recite some lines of dialogue that were not in the game due to console limitations. Oh, nice! We just do it for free? Some people... Some, some voice actors are... If, they're, if it's like... I know that uh, recently uh, Sivvy got a voice actor to do a, a cameo in his work for a gag. Yeah. Talking about dog food. The fact that you're willing to eat dog food suggests that you need to get psychological help. Like, hey man, <laughs> don't judge! Let's see. That's like the Chansey evolution, right? Yes. And I think it's actually worse and competitive than Chansey. It's normal type, right? 
Yes. And it can't Perfect. take a punch. It can't take a punch unlike Chansey, which can. Alright, well, just gonna spend 30 seconds watching that health bar go down. Uh, no. Well, there's an item called the Eviolite, which boosts the stats of a non-evolved Pokémon dramatically. So Chansey can hold that and get a big stat boost, where Blissey can't, because it is fully evolved. Apnea Rush! Oh, I read a fanfic recently, which was pretty insane. Yeah? It was Game of Thrones again, right? Okay. And, uh, but it was called, uh, King of Thrones. Does this involve Baki? No. Go on. King, King of Thrones. Yeah. What 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 what, you, what does that make you think of? Ah, uh, like a, a king of kings, a guy who's so kingly he owns all the thrones in the world. No, okay, mashup title. Think about title mashups. King of Thrones. Kevin James. No. Darn. Okay. King. <laughs> it's a Yu-Gi-Oh crossover. Okay. It would have been better it's if it was King of Queens. I know, but uh, so. Okay, so Yu-Gi-Oh so and actually... Game of Thrones. Yeah, so basically, uh, it takes place where uh, there's an event where everybody gets dual discs and cards, and you, merchants randomly get cards that they sell, As and they happens. restock magically. And then apparently, like like all combat in, in in the in this world is solved by duels. Oh, okay. So, and, so, as so, in so Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just, so it's just the characters of, of Game of Thrones dueling each other, and it's serious fucking business. And he does this. So this. So it's the Yu-Gi-Oh characters. No, no, it's the characters of Game of Thrones just dueling. Okay, and he with it, this cards. author like writes out in detail the steps of each duel. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> there's like a trial by combat with cards, and apparently they can do shadow game style stuff where where like if they if they duel with killing intent, they can actually like like kill it like kill the other person via dueling. Yeah. There is explicit <laughs> magic in Game of Thrones. Like, a character yeah. resurrects another character at one point, right? Yes. Uh, that, that, yeah. That resurrection happens via the magic of the Lord of Light. What did you see on the other side? Nothing. Yeah, so... So that's been going on, and, uh, and I, I've been, I've been greatly amused by it. It's just... It's just like you get fucking people dueling meanwhile. Yeah, I go into detail, but you're not the biggest Game of Thrones fan, so be lost on you. Yeah, I, I have a vague osmosis of Game of Thrones stuff, but that's the extent of it. Uh, I turned the corner, and suddenly there's a fucking. Uh, speaking of card games, so uh, Vinny has developed a Pokemon card addiction. What? Is he just buying them? Uh, I think it was, like, a little bit before the McDonald's promotion happened. He just, like, dug up some of his old Pokemon cards from when he was a kid. And that got him into, like, buying a couple of new packs recently. Do they even... Do, people don't even play Pokemon. They just kind of collect the cards. Pretty much, yeah. He did... He streamed the, po the trading card game online yesterday. Oh... Just to see what it was. It doesn't sound like he's going to be doing more of it, but... It kind of got me wanting to play it again, but at the same time, I'm wary to, because... As far as hey, I remember... Hey, draw a card! Shut up! No, not that, not that one. I'm done with that one. As far as I recall, the Pokemon trading card game online is a lot of, like, whoever has the best cards wins, because there's just broken-ass cards in Pokemon trading card game? Yeah, I bet. I bet that, uh... Somehow not as focused on balance as Magic the Gathering. Yeah, they focus, I think, to the point where, to a fault, where they are are wary about printing broken cards ever again. Yeah. So as a result, a lot of sets have, like, underpowered stuff. They only really accidentally make broken cards through oversight. Because they're worried about the meta. Yeah. 
As far as Yu-Gi-Oh goes, on the other hand, I don't know. It's kind of hit or miss that way. Oh, shit. Well, I guess I, we'll recover. I've never played a Yu-Gi-Oh card game. You never played Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Uh, pretty simple to play. Like, like I played a lot of it on like Game Boy Advance when I was uh, when I was younger. It was a... Have you still played any of the virtual Magic the Gathering games? Uh, not for a while. I uh, I fell off of it again, disappointingly. So, but uh, I, I I blame that mainly because I because I'm trying to save up my money and, and spending money on that would be. Like something I don't need right now. I de yeah, I definitely wouldn't spend money on it. I wouldn't spend money on any trading card game. I kind of want to develop my own trading card game. I had yeah. I had ideas for it, but I had one where instead of like uh, like the players like being having the life points and stuff, you like you have like a couple of like hero cards. Which, uh, which have different hit points and abilities and stuff, and your objective was to take down the hero card with whatever cards you had. We had that, like, anime crossover game fleshed out yeah. years ago that we did together. Yeah, but then I, then the major thing was that... Uh, wait, wait, what the fuck am I doing? Why did I pick this guy for fighting the Carnivine? What the fuck? You can I'm fight it. Uh, at least his attack is cut in half. Crunch. No, I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh. My entire exposure to the series has just the first anime. Or the first two animes, if you're counting the Japanese one. Season maybe, Zero. Maybe, maybe I can teach you to play it. I'm good. I, I don't feel any inclination to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not even really drawn to, like, the style or the art of Magic the Gathering. More so just the gameplay. So, what if the card the card art was like was like cartoony, like Steven Universe? It'd be appeal to me more. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind when I'm developing this card game. I like I like Pokemon more stylistically, but Magic more from a gameplay and like balanced cards perspective. I like I like Magic too, but I I don't like the thing I don't like about Magic is the land system. Yeah. Because because it's just like it prevents you from from like. It, it just, it's just like, it, it, it makes it more luck based and it, it, it punishes bad luck more because you, you could get a chance of getting a bad card just or you get a chance of getting a land fucked. and you don't need it. Yeah, man, I fucked. <laughs> man, I can't um, do anything. I got no land. <laughs> I like Yu-Gi-Oh because, because you have more of a fighting chance with, uh, with cards, you get you get a magic card, which doesn't you get a trap card, which doesn't you get a monster. You just have to make sure you get like a lot of monsters in, in your deck, and then you can just. It's kind of overwhelming can... to try out any trading card game for the first time because there's just so it much is. you have to learn at once. Yeah. Wait, what type is this guy? Uh, rock. So fighting or steel would be super effective. Oh, okay. I can't escape. Oh, no! This isn't my guy with the smoke ball. Now, Wonder Guard did not prove as broken as, as I had hoped. Turns out a lot of things are able to take out my slime. You're as tough as you look. Thank you, guy. Am I going the right way? I don't know. Oh, apparently I didn't go the right way. Uh... I think you're on the right track. You want to go down and right from where you are? Alright. You know what I loved about the Gen 1 Victory Road is that there were, like, uh, there were checkpoints? You could, like, push rocks into certain spots and it would open the path for you to get through faster later. Disappointing that they didn't have it again. Uh, 
Why is this cave so smoky? Oh, is it foggy? No, I'm just saying because I'm using smoke ball a whole lot to run from Oh, no. Oh. Did you, uh, did you ruin it? Ruin it? I have to I leave have to and re-enter. Yep. I definitely am more interested in virtual card games than physical ones. Just less set up. They have nice little tutorials and things like that. Yeah. Which I'm sure if I wanted to get into Yu-Gi-Oh, there's plenty of game versions of it. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Game Boy Advance uh, ROMs that, that can uh, that'll allow you to uh, to get to the basic one. But they did add new stuff, which I'm out of, like uh, Synchro and XYZ cards, which are a big thing. Pendulum Monsters. I don't know anything about those, but if I could... But if I play something like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, I could probably learn about those pretty quickly. I also kind of have no interest in Yu-Gi-Oh! after the Duel Monsters era. So I'm just gonna ha I'm just gonna have a lot of shit from the more recent parts of the franchise that I'm gonna have to learn if I did the card game. Yeah. We could, At we least could like watch... more recent versions, like the Steam Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Yeah, Duel Links. I'm thinking of uh, that one game, uh, you, that one uh, series, Yu-Gi-Oh! V Reigns with the fucking two it's Tyler sisters. Tyler <laughs> sisters. Ever... Okay, so there's a character. There are two characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! V Reigns, the newest one I think, called yeah. the Tyler Sisters, and uh, they talk like they talk like like your stereotypical mean girls, like like Super Valley Girl. Like, what are you even doing here? You can't duel. Like, like whatever. But hello. They're like the Bean Girls. Yeah. Like like scary. And then somebody did a comment on the video, like, get in, losers, we're gonna go play children's card games. <laughs> That's, like, that, that was a good way to sum it up. Cliff Fable. Alright. Like, what that is? And then, it, it, this other character just sees, like, oh no, it's the Tyler sisters. Meteor Mash. I think it's a Not steel very punch. It was a crit, but it wasn't very effective. I'm the slug is faster than Cliff Fable. Man, do I have dig? I need to get out of this cave. Get out of the cave. I, I haven't used any, like, rare candy cheats, so I'm in more dire straits than you are at this point. Well, to be fair, I'm not fighting legendary Pokemon. Yeah. But I'm, I'm supposed to have broken stuff. The broken stuff isn't broken enough. I think I chose wrong. I should have chose fire type. Uh, yeah, you got nothing super against it. It's fine. Just oh, punch it till it dies. Probably got high defense. Yep, it, it survived. Every time I see Clefairy, I'm always reminded of that stupid oh, no, it was game shit. in Pokemon Stadium. Uh, Clefairy, Clefairy. That's from the anime. He's like, he's gonna go in. Oh, I'm dead. Well, it was in Pokemon Goku Stadium, died. too. Rest in peace, yeah. Goku. At least he'll get that Zenkai boost. Is that why Goku came back like so strong? Cause he died. That was his big post, post uh, life Zenkai boost. Like in the Saiyan arc. Yeah. Yeah. That was part of it. I wonder when that procs. Like, did he? Was he stronger than when he was alive? As soon as he was in Underworld, in, uh, Otherworld, with his body, or was it not until the Dragon Balls revived him? Ooh. What, what are the Probably... details of the Zenkai? Now, did that work with Vegeta? Did he die and he come back to life and he's stronger than ever? Yes. If, if, 
if if go if like Goku kept uh, and, and Frieza and Vegeta kept on dying and then they kept on getting revived via like a red priest, would they would they be invincible? I I, I like remember that was Vegeta's plan in the Namek saga. Like, okay, I I need you to beat me to almost death, and then that little green guy will heal me and I'll be stronger. We do this about five times and I can take Frieza. <laughs> That was a plot point. Yeah, that was. It was great. It was just like that's how, that's how Senkai. <laughs> that's a that's Magic why, the Gathering strategy. That's why. That's why Saiyans are bullshit. You think? You think Bobians have that? They can Zenkai boost. I don't know. They've never needed to. <laughs> they, they should try it. Just. <laughs> Sonic, I'm gonna need you to try dying for me. What? Oh no! That's no good! Don't worry, we'll bring you back by collecting the seven Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, we'll just have Princess Elise kiss you, then, then you'll be resurrected. Yeah, that's how that works. Sonic 06 coming eventually. It's still <laughs> sitting here, sitting on my, on my shelf. That's gonna, that's gonna be like when I, when I go down there again. I'll go. I'll head down there, and then we'll, 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 I'll stay the night for three days, and we'll just play Sonic no 06. Marathon Sonic, Sonic marathon. 06. <coughs> the Sonic 06 marathon. We'll eat. We'll play Sonic 06. We'll drink. We'll play Sonic 06. One Eight route hours per later, day. One route per day. We'll just keep playing it until our route is done. Oh yeah, that's right. That's how Sonic 06 works. There's three. There's three characters. God damn it. All hail Shadow. <laughs> when there's nothing left to lose, you'll win. Destroy anyone that isn't a friend. <laughs> Shadow, I'm not actually all that edgy. I just, I'm just. Wasn't that song in Shadow the Hedgehog as well? Like we found out. I think so. I think we found out it did exist before Sonic 06, and then it became his theme in Sonic 06. It still blows my mind that Power Man 5000 was in a Sonic the Hedgehog game and a Tony Hawk game. <laughs> no, all we need is uh, Sonic doing skateboarding tricks. Yeah. Oh wait, that was in Sonic Adventure 2. It's kind of amazing there hasn't been a full, like, skateboarding minigame section. I guess Sonic games don't really do minigames. No. Not really. They just kind of they got Spyro like, for that. Spyro can uh, can do the, the the skateboarding stuff. Yeah, I'll show you the nasty Gnork. By the way, uh, apropos of nothing, I was uh, well. No, speaking of uh, of Spyro, I saw his design in the Skylanders. Yeah, because I haven't before. It looks terrible. The, he's got like little beady eyes that are far apart, right? Yeah. Skylanders, Spyro. It looks so fucking weird. Oh yeah, I remember. Oh, he's got like that big smushed face. He kind of looks like yeah. you know, the meat from Vine Sauce. <laughs> That's not good. Oh no. You're a ground type. That's not gonna kill you, is it? Nope. Skylanders crash. Earthquake! Looks... God damn it, I fucking hate Earthquake. Okay, I guess. It's kind of hard to really fuck up Crash's design. Yeah. The, the, like word, the most distant it ever got was like Mind Over Mutant or something. Gave him a bunch of tats. <laughs> tattoos? Yeah. Are you serious? He had like tribal That's... tattoos all over half his body. That's funny. Mind over I think a crystal crash. had cats, kind of. Whoa! Was that the one, or was it... Maybe it was Crash of the Titans Crash. Hey, game devs, stop redesigning your characters. You don't need to. 
you heard that me that like the new meme where people are like, please please don't oversimplify me. Oh, the, the like oversimplified logos. Yeah. Uka Uka or Aku Aku, the mask looked bizarre. That was also. I'm not looking because I'm full screen. But, oh, okay. Uh, uh yeah, he he kind of looked like Donkey Kong. The mask. The mask, yes. Why did the mask need to look like Donkey Kong? And they turned Tiny the Tiger into like a, a more realistic face tiger in a military uniform with a tight with a tiny little Mike Tyson voice. Because you know his name's Tiny. It'll be funny. <laughs> that, that's right, Poopy Head. My mommy, my mommy says I'm real strong. And it, it, it includes, like, the lisp, too. Like, oh, crash, you know, I, you always bother me coming and fight me like this. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what Tiny the Tiger sounded like. That's so crazy. All right. Gee, I, I wonder jump. why this generation of Crash is failing to sell. What are we doing wrong? Are we out of touch? No, it is the children that is wrong. You know how they have that trend with like Teen Titans Go and, and Pony Chibi Cartoon and Thundercats? Yeah. Where they're taking all these shows and making them chibi and cutesy to market them better. Imagine that, but JoJo. I, I don't want to. Please don't make... <laughs> <laughs> chibi, comedy-driven JoJo. Or Baki. <laughs> we'll make it a cutesy comedy for kids. <laughs> or Dragon Ball. That's probably more realistic. That could conceivably yeah. happen, and I would hate Not it, but Baki. man, it could happen. <laughs> Fucking Baki. Are you serious? It kind of... <laughs> there was Rock Lee and his Ninja Pals. That was like a chibi spinoff. Yeah, Rock Lee is springtime of youth. You fucking kidding me. You, Yujiro. Aw, oh, Yujiro. Did you ever watch the Avatar Chibi shorts? No. That was a thing. That was a thing. They were... Eh. Not, not as good as the show. I bet. Chibi shorts usually aren't. Yeah. Yeah, Skylanders Crash talked with a thick Australian accent, like, I was just on the Insane Isles fighting the evil Dr. <laughs> Cortex when I wound up here! The Crash isn't Australia. supposed to talk, what are you doing? Well, he does talk, he goes, whoa! That's, yeah, that's the extent. So that's about it. it. <laughs> yeah! Crash and Link have a, have a thrilling conversation. Whoa! Yeah! What? He doesn't ever talk. It's weird because the because in Breath of the Wild you don't get to name Link. He's just fucking Link. Yeah. And and everybody's like and everybody else's voice acting except for him. That's right. There is like voice. Is it like? Uh, it's not full dialogue. Is it like banjo speech? Uh no. There is some full dialogue, but a lot of it is just text only with pull. Oh. Okay. Oh. But there are some scenes, especially like cutscenes, where where they talk. It's a bit awkward, but I got I quickly got used to it. Sweet, uh, sweet lava bat. I'm surfing on lava, bro. Oh, it's gonna be like Pokemon Gen 12 when they run out of HM ideas. You're gonna be able to surf on lava. They're not using HMs anymore, though. Oh, that, yeah, that's true. They're just gonna have a Pokemon that does that. They ran out of HM ideas, or they decided finally that that's a bad fucking idea. Oh my god, save. Still surprised they don't have lava boats in Minecraft. Vanilla. Oh, like made out of stone? Or something. That's because you ride, that's because you ride a certain type of uh, pig on the lava. Oh, you do now? Is that a thing? Yeah, like you ride uh, something. You can mount uh, something and you can go through the lava. 
I can see the past. Okay, cool. But so can I. I, can, I got a diary right here. I can see the past. Oh, the thing you were talking about of uh, coming back and being stronger every time is also kind of a plot point in the Shin Budokai. Where the, like, the gate to hell just stays open, so they just keep killing everyone and they keep coming back anyway, and nothing's getting resolved. That Gee, King like Kai, it. this isn't working! <laughs> but it's fun though, I want to keep doing it forever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking of Yasha and Tien just fucking running for Broly again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> run, run, run! I'm just, I'm gonna die in this cave. Don't be, don't be like that. You, you can survive. <laughs> I'm gonna punch this chime out. Tata tata bozo. Yeah, take that. Oh, it's not very effective. It's just like. Maybe I should do a solo stream of the uh, Pokemon trading card game, Game Boy game. I, I think that's a better experience than the fucking horrifying uh, PC one. The Pokemon play it. Yeah. Po hey, draw a card! That was like a standalone thing. There is a separate, like, Pokemon trading card game online that is current. Yeah. That's good. Learned how to play that. I tried playing that once, and, uh... Geez. It doesn't have as good... It's weird to say, because, obviously, the CG for Pokemon Play It was atrocious. Yes. And it didn't really have any single-player game. It was all tutorial. But it did the tutorial thing well. It taught you how to play the game. Yeah. The online version doesn't have as good a tutorial as oh. uh, Pokemon Play It. Fucking gold bats! There's no, no fish live in these waters. You're running from them. Yeah, I'm running from everything. I'm not fighting any trainers that I that I don't need to. I'm just, That's probably a good idea. I just want to get to the fucking. Do I have an escape rope? That'd be that'd be nice. I don't think I ever found dig. That's disappointing. I don't think I have dig on me. It's still a TM. I think you can buy more of them, but it's still one one use. I always forget when that changed. It might have been oh, Gen hey, 5 Pulse. or Gen 6. Bulbapedia. TM. Where's the exit here? Is it a top left? Top left. Got a battle ace trainer. I want to. Oh. Yeah. I want to say you're going to a staircase down, oh, surrounded by a pool. Of oh water. no! I'm fighting a vampire. Bleh. Bleh. That's a dragon, right? Uh, yes, Dragon Ground. Okay. Shit. If you I don't have anything that's... I wonder if you'll find the Ice against. Beam TM in here. That'd be a good move for Lord Slug. You yeah. have, uh... Someone knows a Dragon-type move. Goku, right? He's got the Super yeah. Dragon Fist. I know, that's what I'm using. Oh, just Slash? That's cute. Dragon Pulse! Okay. Next generation TMs are infinite use. Good.
Fuck you, dragon. There's no way I could have won. What? That's oh, quitters talk. Don't. How am I gonna how now how am I gonna teach you the most powerful dragon moves? Well Is he mad at you? Yeah, because I beat his ass. Get good, scrub. Or you know what? Energy steroids. You just give him energy steroids. Poor <laughs> cold pets. Nothing lives in these waters. You try Tenkaichi tag team. I have not I'm not really is I'm not really interested in the Tenkaichi series in terms of gameplay. Pretty much just the roster that I played those for. Hey, there's a stairway up. Okay, I don't know. Try it out. This looks good. Alright. I'll, tr I'll try to help you to make this as bearable as possible. Fucking victory. Victory roads were never fun. Like, in the original, I was, like, in, on victory road, I'm like... When will it end? It was my so nice in Generation. Go on. I was I, my Charizard can only take so much. It was so nice in Generation Two when it was just empty, and you just kind of walk through the ruins of the Gen One Victory Road. No trainers, no Pokemon. That's all right. Yeah. Like you already have, have the Elite Four as your final obstacle. Do you need more than that? You need to you need to prove you are victorious by going through Victory Road. Hey, Razor Claw. What does that do? That can evolve Schneezel. Sne Pneezel? Sneezel, the little ice weasel. Oh. It also ups a critical hit ratio. Ooh, that'd be nice. Who, who could I give it to? Who could use it? Goku? What? I'll give it to what? What? You're pretty... Critical wattage. Get it out of here. What's down? What's up the stairs? Maybe you don't have to fight the old man. I gotta, I gotta run from uh, this gold bat. You do have to fight the old man. The no, I don't. Was it? Who's the guy guarding that cave? Fuck you doing in front of my? This is my cave. You can't come in here. I don't know where you wait for the cave. I think that's how that works, right? Just go like this? He's not a trainer. Oh, he's not? He's just a oh. fat guy standing in an inopportune place. Speaking of du fat dudes standing in front of caves... Apparently, Joel also saw the dude in uh, red-blue as a kid. The guy in front of the cave as having one of those big British guard hats. So I wasn't the only one. You're going to become even tougher. You'll meet many, many Pokemon. That's what you should be thinking. Eventually, the world will grow bigger to you. Okay, are you going to move this cave? Gonna no? The world will grow bigger to you when I move out of the way of this cave. In the post game. That's fucking cave. You know what you know what the real kick in the balls is? What? Even in post game, when you get access to that cave. You can go through it, there's like a little portion, you come to a field, and that field is where you can get a mythical Pokemon if you have the event item to get that mythical Pokemon. That sucks. Without the event item, there's fuck all in there. Fucking event item, like... Oh, sorry, lost forever. Well, 
At least they're better about it for like in like the Switch era. I mean, they were yes. like, no, let's not. There's still events that go on, and there's still event exclusive Pokemon. Oh, are there? Still? Nothing's Damn really it. changed. Never mind then. Close your eyes. Well, there's there's like DLC now. Call. Sword and Shield are the first Pokemon games with DLC. Yeah, the fucking Crown Tundra and the and fucking Necromancer <laughs> slow <laughs> slow game. You saw wait, that, wait. right? I got this. There he is. Let me get the correct wait, version. Hold. Palpatine, slow bro. Sorry, see, slow that, king. That, that, it's with its Palpatine. Frieza eyes. Well, I gotta see this. I'm, I'm all tapping out so I can see this. Here, I can, I can move the... There he okay, is. I see what you mean by ha him looking like Donkey Kong now. Oh, the... The mask... Uh, Aku yeah, Aku. I, I I was trying to I, I I thought you were gonna post it to Discord. That's why I I no. tabbed out. Uh, you you can go back to Parsec and you can see it. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, just those fucking eyes, those beady little eyes. Remember when Frieza dressed as a clown and was a Digimon villain? That was cool. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, what, what's his face from, uh, like Funky Clown from no. uh, from Super. No, he was his own man, but Piedmon was clearly just Frieza in clown makeup. <laughs> That's the thing. Pokemon doesn't name doesn't have the last name of everything as being like Mon. Yeah. Definitely Digimon. a limitation of Digimon. Yeah. Whereas here, it's just, they, they're their own mons. Gollum, huh? Kick its ass, Goku! Ah, yes, the best thing to do against rocks. Punch them. Fighting is strong against a uh, rock type. For some reason. Brick Breakers. You well, think a, a martial artist punched a square rock enough to make it perfectly round, and that's how Golem was born? Mom's fucking weird. It's like a weird end of evolution considering the previous two. It is, because he's got like animal traits. He's not just a sentient yeah. rock. Maybe, I don't know. I would bet that so Gollum's weird. design was made before the other two. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I can look that up. Pokemon by hex number. Or index number, that's what it is. Because that is the order that they were created and put into Gen 1. Ah. Uh. Rhydon, Kangaskhan, Nidoran Male, Clefairy, Spearow. The first five. Slowbro was number eight to come down the line. Oh, really? And then they had to make, uh, like, uh, like, a pre-evolution. like, uh, how about he just doesn't have his fucking tail? Ivysaur, Executor, and Execute. We're pretty close. Uh -oh. What were what were we looking at? Uh, we're looking for uh, Gollum. Graveler was the first in the line. The first. Graveler to be and conceived. they decided, hey, you know what? You know what would be cool if it evolved into that? What the fuck? That and then no Gollum, sense. and then Geodude, and then Gollum. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> None whatsoever. Who was the last Gen One Pokemon to be conceived? There's a bunch of uh, missing nose mixed in. 
Oh yeah, that makes sense. That uh, were apparently early designs for Gen 2 Mons. The Bellsprout uh, family. The Oddish and Bellsprout families were the last ones conceived for Gen 1. Oh, oh, uh, one of the last ones was fucking Weedmon. Yeah. Interesting. Four kids is the devil! Four kids is... Charizard also one of the last few. Huh. Oh, well, Charizard was a real banger. Hey, yeah, let's make a dragon Pokemon. Yeah, let's do that, but make it not fire or not dragon or fly. Yeah, we did a wa we did a watch of the first uh, Digimon Adventure series, but it's such such a time sink. <laughs> Digimon Adventure series was fucking like nothing else, man. That was that was fucking wild. Everybody was talking a mile a minute. The pacing was just crazy. And it's also a matter of like you can't we can't really put it up anywhere because it is anime footage, so Yeah. Man, that fucking ballad of hip hop Goku video got blocked in our country. The one with like the more recent Yu-Gi-Oh! season where Sean Shevel G No oh, it was GX. G it was both both the uh, both of the ones I showed you were GX. It was Sean Schimmel doing a like a hip hop voice. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, and dueling uh, the main character. Uh, the other one was also Sean Schimmel in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, where he voiced that muscular dude, but voiced him with like a, with, like a really bad Mike Tyson voice. Yeah. That's right! Well, that must have been in at the time. It was the mid to late 2000s. Every time you say Gollum, I think of Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, who do you think we're talking about? He's just a Pokemon. Gollum. Gollum. Do you do Graveler Gollum? He turns into the Lord of the Rings character. <laughs> Gollum looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> My precious. It's just it's just a Pokemon that hoards shiny things. It's a dark type. <laughs> kind of looks like Sableye. Could've got, you could have had him guard in that cave that uh, the fat guy was blocking. Leave now and never come back! God. You met, it, it was a hobbit. It's not that anymore, but it was a hobbit. Oh, it's not a dragon type. Shit. I found the exit. Finally. We're finally out of there. I feel like there was a previous stream where you spent the whole time lost in a cave, and I was doing stuff. Remember when, uh, when Ash and Misty and Brock were lost in fucking Viridian Forest for, like, a week? I know, Brock wasn't around then, because Viridian Forest was before. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Misty and, and Ash were lost in Viridian Forest for, like, a week. There were a lot of episodes that, there, a couple episodes that took place in there think. Yeah. This fucking but like metapod evolved to do a butterfree in there. Then they finally got out and they were all covered in like scratches and shit. And then didn't they get arrested immediately after? Because I think it was a bit I think it was a bit wild because they were like because the officer Jenny was like fucking stupid. People have been kidnapping like these... Pokemon lately. You're people, so you must be the culprits. We just got here. I feel it always returns to the scene of the crime. Yeah, well, here, this is who I am. And it's just, it just. Anyway. Pokemon season one wasn't good. Pokemon animated. In oh, you should save. Oh no! Is there is there a rival fight coming up? I don't think so, but just just a friendly reminder. I think the rival challenges you just as you're about to enter the Elite Four door. Oh, All right, here we go.
I know they're currently developing a Lord of the Rings game that purely revolves around Gollum, and you play as him. <laughs> yes, yes! I want it, I want that. I really do. Yeah? That... <laughs> it's a stealth game. You just hoard treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I want that, I just know I want it. It'll be like, uh, it'll be a mobile game, and it's like Tamadachi, but you're raising Gollum. Oh, I don't know if I want that. Don't forget to feed him. Or else he'll just eat, he'll just eat you. Yes, please. Death battle. Dobby versus Gollum. <laughs> Gollum would kick Dobby's ass. What are you talking about? Dobby's just... Dude, Snape and Lupin could, would be fucking in the middle of the hall and all Dobby would do is would wa be watching. And yes, that is a My Immortal reference for people who got that. Oh hey, all these balls. Quick ball! No, I'm not catching anything. There's nothing useful. For what was it someone said in, in the Me Sword Discord today? Joe forgets he's the president and goes on to be in Smash. Sounds like the greatest fan fiction since Subspace. <laughs> Joe? Biden? Joe. Uh, yes. And my response was how can Subspace have been the greatest fan fiction when 30 H's exists? <laughs> Dobby relished his groin saw's roar. I don't know why I went down here. I never finished Pokemon Stadium. Is Darian talking about it in chat? Uh, I mean, I played. Everyone played the mini games, obviously, but because he had to use the rental Pokemon. You didn't have to. You could import your own. You had the transfer you packs, yeah, but I, just, I guess I just never bothered. All right, I must now use my flying unconscious slime. I got it. I'm going to deposit my uh, my HM buddy now. To go to, I don't. I guess I'll check out the. Uh, I'll check out the G the Giratina cave. So Giratina is in this game. It just you know, hangs out in a cave, much like Rayquaza existing in Ruby and Sapphire. Despite... Oh, I kinda, I kinda... Oh, well, anyway, yeah. Are you I thinking about using Palkia? No, I'm not going to. I that'd put be, the pal in Palkia! Pal-kia. My Palkia. Best car ever. Kia. I've had Kias. They're reliable. Uh, hard to find p parts or service for sometimes, though. Oh. Uh, well, keep that in mind. Uh, alright. You put, uh, buy barrel away? Yep. I got my bronze on. So, Rival opens with a bird, I think. I think he's got Star Raptor. Okay. Mm, there's that audio chug. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, that. I, I forgot one other episode of Powerpuff Girls. There, oh no. There was one where the girls were not allowed to fight anymore because some Karens complained that their violence was too imitatable, and it was having a bad influence on their kids. <laughs> so wait, they were doing a riff of the fucking, uh, of the fucking PTA? Or the PTC? Yes. I, I remember. Yeah. And uh, not, not only that, they had the gall to title the episode Girls Gone Mild. Hold it, don't go off. They made it a You're fucking Girls Gone Wild reference in Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. But why, but why though? Sanic! Sanic! Sanic's back. 
I'll bet his bird knows Kung Fu. Wait, why are you, why are you all 60, level 60? Energy steroids. He's drugs! He's drugs. Baki is totally unapologetic about steroid abuse. Like, yeah, yeah whatever like, you want to do, man. Jack Hanma, he just uses a bunch of fucking drugs, and, and he's like, and they're only, the only concern is, is not that he's cheating, but like, hey, is your body going to be able to handle it? And Jack's like, shut up. Yeah, it will. So, once you clear the Elite Four, for no explainable reason, this hole in trees opens up. And there's just a whole other area over here. Wait, you got a Snorlax? Fuck. He is the 0.0001% who managed to catch a Munchlax. And you know what? That's good. Good for him. Good Pokemon. Snorlax. Any better, otherwise you'd never see one. You'd never get it in your in your Pokedex. Which, uh, even if you wanted to do post-game, I don't think you can unlock it before you have seen every Sinnoh Pokemon. <sighs> so you have to go out of your way to make sure you fought all of the trainers to be sure that you saw every Pokemon. You know what? That's fine. I don't... I, I, I just want to get this generation... This generation was a fucking chore. This was the least... the least fun I've had playing Pokemon. It's got, it's gotta be, uh... Nostalgia's powerful, man. Oh, whoops. Like, I that's gotta like... be why people defend some games like this. Yeah, this game was, the, was like, the most, uh, Pokemon. Like, the most old-school Pokemon of, of them all. The rigid combats, like, the rigid... Oh, I didn't. I didn't read this on stream, but uh, because it came up in conversation on uh, Wickersham's Discord, I tallied up our play times for the different RPGs that we played. Yeah, I saw that. I don't go read it. And uh, Metopia was not as high on the list as I thought it would be. I guess it was just really slow, so it felt longer. It was uh, <laughs> Paper Mario was 18 hours. Thousand Year okay. Door was 24, Red Blue right. was 25, Metopia 25 and a half, Ruby Sapphire 32 hours, Gold Silver 34 hours, Sword Shield 34 hours. This one is looking to be 35 hours about. Ah, oh, jeez. Which is still the second highest. Monster Girl Quest 58 and a half hours is <laughs> not even close. That, that was three games, though, basically. Yeah. It was I'll also the that... most JRPG thing we've ever done. Yeah. Wait, how long was Kingdom Hearts 1? Ah, uh, not that long, but... Check and check, I'm not doing anything. Oh, I'm, I keep missing, I keep, uh... I guess that's technically an RPG, an action RPG. I guess if we wanted to, we could uh, we just watch more Digimon without making it a watch per se. Oh no, I got put to sleep. I gotta use a full heal now. Damn it. Fucking Roserade. Hey Digimon, hey Digimon. We we gotta see the the, the Jedi rip the outfit off and be Santa or whatever happens. I remember something weird like that. Is that all you got? Oh no, I'm poisoned. Oh yeah. Well, how about this? 
24 and a half hours for Kingdom Hearts. Which is oh, also wow. on the low side. Huh. I guess because we skipped a lot of it. Yeah, we did. We did not 100% Kingdom Hearts for sure. I think Pokemon Pearl was the first and only Pokemon game I actually bought personally. You poor soul. Napoleon. Oh, that's uh, that's water ice, right? Water steel. Okay. We got Earth. Or I guess electric would work too. Yeah, electric would work. Uh, platinum did improve some things, but I, I like to do the basic versions of these gens just because this mirrors what you know. This was the public experience. This was what everyone got when gener Generation 4 happened. Oh my god, almost dead. I wonder if they are gonna do a... Uh, maybe when all the DLC is finished for Sword and Shield. They'll pack it into, like, a, a director's cut version. Probably two of them again. But Pokemon... Pokemon Spear. Pokemon Ultra Sword. Pokemon Sharp Sword and, uh, and... Pokemon... Steel Shield. I quit after a few days of playing it, lol. I... this... this generation... This... this generation combined with seeing the designs that were coming out for Gen 5 made me drop the series for a while. I came back for Sun Moon because those looked like they got it right again. And I did like Sun Moon. They, they had cool stuff going on in that gen. Everyone but me loves Gen 5, though, so I'm, I'm curious to see what Jack ends up thinking of it. It's next a lot one, of people's favorite gen. Which one's the next one? X Black White? New York. Yeah, Black New White. York. Okay, nice. Which has, like, the most serious attempt at a plot. It's got, like, uh... In, 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 in some ways, it's the most JRPG Pokemon. But not the grindiest, like this gen is. Red Frieza. I named one of my... Who did I name Red Frieza? That was, uh... Oh, Deoxys. Okay. Yeah. I just... I saw my own name and forgot I did that. Also, I have found Palkia hanging out in this little secret forest patch, and the, he's got slow start, so he can't do anything the first five turns. By the way, I forgot that Method Man had strength. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, you're fighting, uh, Bugsy. I want. No, you're still fighting Sanic. Yeah. But thank you for letting me know that the first one is Bug type. Oh, but just because his name's Bugsy, he could be. You could use any type. You think Pokemon characters are so one-dimensional, Jack? Yes. Please heal me, my Pokemon. Bugs are weak to fire and... Fire, rock... Oh god, I don't have... That's it? That's pretty much it. You oh, have shit. Infernape, right? Yeah, but he's only got... I mean, oh, he's got 15 actually, it just... All right, let's do it. Uh, obviously, you should save before you go in, because once you go in, you're locked in there. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what he opens with, but I can't. It's fine. I'll just uh, throw in Thernape and Fernape out there, and then just steamroll his entire team. His entire fucking insect team. Who are the Elite Four? There's a Bug Guy, a Fire Guy, Earth, okay. and Earth. I don't remember the, la okay. the last one. Okay, well, I got 
A dragon? There's usually a dragon, but there might not be this time. We'll find out. Elite Four, come at, come at me, motherfucker. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm, I'm Aaron. Aaron. Oh no, Bugsy was a gym leader. Bug Pokemon are Bugs nasty are... mean, yet they're beautiful too. Do you like to know why oh, I take on challengers here in this room? It's because this is my room that I am designated to take on challengers of the Elite Four in. That's no, it's why. Because he wants to become perfect. Oh. Perfect bug. Well, that's a dumb reason. I, I thought it was just your perfect. office. Oh, there's he only has five. I can I can And not even the best trainers in the world have six Pokemon. Yo, I don't need six. I'm I'm fine just the way I hit Flare Blitz. One shot. Fuck you. Do Fuck I have you. defog? I do. Okay. Oh jeez, I just lost a whole lot of hit points from that attack. I need to I'll need to keep pumping him up with healing items. Did you buy healing items? I've got plenty. You can do it! You should get rid of you should get rid of fire wheel and put on flare blitz. All out attack, no mercy. No mercy. So, so this is the spooky ruined Satan cave where Pokemon Satan hangs out. Is it a third? Is it taking out a third of my hit points every time? It's proportionate to the damage that you deal. Oh. Drapion is poison dark, I believe. So poison. ground. What's strong against poison? Psychic is strong against poison. But right? it doesn't affect dark. I think ground is its only weakness. Oh fuck. Alright. Well, slug, let's go. Throw some mud at it. What? How did you know I would use Drapion? He told me you would use Drapion. Oh yeah, those gentleman rules. God, I hate being an yeah. Elite Four. Whoa, this this War Turtle sprite looks like uh, looks like an old Japanese painting. <laughs> Oh, I almost killed it. I used a Drapion when I played this game for the first time. That was when I still did, like, themed teams, because I liked Dark-type. So I just used all the Dark Pokemon that are new to the gen. Stop your fucking cross poison, you jackass! You can't poison a slime. Except in, like, Monster Girl Quest, where they're extremely vulnerable to that. It's, like, the best thing to do against them. Yeah. You poison the water unlike... supply. Oh man, you poisoned our environment. Heracross. Heracross is bug uh fighting. Okay. Oh, so psychic will do neutral 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 damage to it. <laughs> There's just a bunch of mid mid stage starter Pokemon in here. <laughs> this is just where all the unwanted, awkward starters go. That's funny. Oh, it knows Night Slash! Fuck off! It's okay, you're Seal type. That's a change that happens at some point, is that uh, Steel becomes no longer resistant to Dark. I guess oh. they figured Steel type was too tough. Steel, of course. Oh, you used a full restore? Fuck you. They probably each have a full restore, too. 
Oh, you use Mega Horn on me. <gasps> oh no, is it killing him? Is that a crit? Okay, good, he survived. Oh, that wasn't even a crit. Yeah, if it crit, I would have been, I would have been fucked. Oh no, this Nido King downloaded me. Nido King could be a Digimon. I'd buy that. Yes, the Queen. I forget which one that is. So, bug flying. Oh, flying, you say? Get in, we're gonna go play children's card games. <laughs> Get in, loser. Oh god, it's a queen bee. Oh, also, uh, one of them, I don't know which one, they, they're like, they, they say, Spunk ES. Oh boy. We're gonna call, we're gonna call the genre Jizz. They play Jizz at, at, at the club. I, I, well, I, I, that was, this is, oh, wait. Oh, you can flinch? The Thunderfang? Yeah, I didn't know it could cause flinching as well. That's so cool. <laughs> That's a victory. Does that count as power creep? First, you just have an electric move, then one that can paralyze, then one that can paralyze and flinch. Oh, hey, Trico! <laughs> oh, he's so happy! This I will now this, We found it! This is the place where starter Pokémon come from. Yeah, it's just here. Oh, that's another thing about, uh... Of, uh, Ar Arceus game. The, the three starters are like, uh... They're mixed generations. I oh, think, really? I think it's, uh, Cyndaquil... Oshawott, which is a New York water type, and uh -huh. the Grass Owl from Sun and Moon. What the fuck? What the fuck? That is weird. This whole thing about Pokemon Legends Arceus is weird. Alright, so the, what's the next trainer you said was? Uh, type? Probably Fire? You, you can walk into the room and see. They're not going to challenge you as soon as you step in. Uh... This doesn't... I don't know. That's Earth. Oh, it's Earth. Okay. Ground type. Alright, fighting then. Fighting? Oops. Fighting? Uh, no. Fighting's not super effective against ground. It's oh, super ground, effective not, against not rock. rock. But rock is okay, ground. So, so it is it is, uh. Water, ice, and grass. Oh, okay. So I'll just use Tux then. Tux, yo! You remember that one commercial, like let's for Let's Go Pikachu, where that uh, kid, like, was dressed up uh, his dog as, as a Pikachu. He's like Pika Pooch, go. Okay. And then the dog was just not having it. <laughs> no, I did not see that one. So this. Uh, okay, never mind. What? I was gonna have you guess what the trainer's name was, but you already. Did. Bertha. Yeah. I I am Bertha, the old woman. Oh man, got a stylish coat on. Oh, well, good thing you started with grass. Double. That happy face ain't gonna be around for long. Father Ditto. 
All quagsires are actually dittos in disguise. Whiskash. Is that water ground? Yes. Oh, wow. This is just a feast. Of all, of all the Pokemon she had, she thought this would be the best one to send out. Ah, well, better... <laughs> Maybe she thought I would switch. Pseudo wood. <laughs> That's not even That's, ground type. That's just rock type. Hey Goku, you ready for some exercise? Oh, uh, here's something I discovered. What? Do you remember the Gen 2 Pokemon Sentret and Furret? Yes. Furret is 5'11". 5'11". The little, the little fuzzy ferret fella. 5'11". Wait, it's almost as long as a person? It's as tall as we are. What the fuck? Charizard, oh, meanwhile, is 5'7". Always, it's weird because Charizard opponent. Oh, that's the that's the ground. Okay, yeah. that's pure ground. Ash's Charizard is apparently big for a Charizard. It is bigger than five seven. It's like a it's a mutant. It is the Ganondorf of Charizards. Ash, what the fuck is up with your Charizard? I just gave him a bunch of performance enhancing drugs. Oh no. Fucking sandstorm. I have to stop. Jack Hanma just shoves vitamins down his Pokemon's throat. Doesn't care who tells him he shouldn't. What waterfall? I wanted surf. God damn it. I'm fucked. I'm maybe, fucked. maybe he'll flinch. Or did he go first? She. She went first. Somehow this hippo is strong, is like faster than. Stop that. Okay, good. If I wouldn't spit. Good thing the sandstorm doesn't affect me. Dollum! Is that, is that rock ground? Yes. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna be faster than me. Oh, I could have just recovered. Shit. Whatever. That's all right. It's for the best. And confirm the kill first and foremost. I think they punish you for saving and reloading in here. How so? I think that re like that resets the cave. Oh. Like it sends you back to the beginning again. Well, that was most impressive, dear child. Yes. Your Pokemon believed in you and earned you the win. Actually, I yeah, couldn't have done it if you didn't tell me what Pokemon you're gonna use like an idiot. <laughs> You and your Pokemon worked as one. You can go as far as you want. Bye. So either fire or... So fire's next then. What boring rooms. Only the ground color changes. Yeah. Remember when... Alright. Alright, time for your healing shots. Only Lord Slug took damage, and that's because I fucked up. Do, 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 do. 
Alright, I'm gonna say fire and then mystery. Mystery type. Oh, that's fire. Alright. Lords. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Lords, look. Here we go. Lord Slug is the only one who can do it. Fire versus ground is not very effective, right? Uh, I think so. So I got a Type 4 advantage over all fire moves. Or a 4 times advantage. Or it might, might be neutral against ground. I think it's neutral against ground and weak against rock. You had me okay. counting my, the days on my fingers waiting for you to get here. I, I heard, heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Okay. Yeah, Nabashi. <laughs> he looks like... He's... Looks like he should be in Yakuza. <laughs> Careful, don't get too close. He, he knows hand EI. <laughs> Get to that when we watch that. Alright. Well, yeah, you did Sir, watch that in Baki. I watch, yeah. I mean, no, when, uh, when Dad and I watch it. Oh, are you watching through from the beginning? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we are. I, I, I described him the scene where, uh, where, uh, the one the old martial artist folds down the other guy's pants, goes, ping! And then flicks him in the nuts to incapacitate him, and he's like, he laughed. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll, pro we'll probably go through the series with him. I can't wait to see how he reacts to that, how, how to react to that fucking, uh, uh. <laughs> I think most of the most bizarre stuff was in the Netflix series. Yeah, I guess it's just the series as no, a that's whole what we're gets. At. We're on, I started from the Netflix series. The series as a that's whole just gets more bizarre as it goes on. Yeah, um, I, I, I did uh, look up some character information from some other characters that are coming up, and uh, yeah, it gets it gets wilder. Um, I know about the caveman. It, um, clone of Miyamoto Musashi. Oh, okay. With the spirit of Miyamoto Musashi. I think... Oh, one sliver of HP left. God damn it. I think there was a Ranma episode where, like, the spirit of Musashi possesses Kuno. And he goes on an angry rampage throughout the school or something like that. Recover! I can heal. Full restore. Can I can I use the recover twice in a row or will it fail? No, you're good. You can use as much as you want, as long as you got the PP. I like how that one uh, YouTuber describes it. He just does PP training. You have to train your PP. He's <laughs> he's he not only is he funny because because let's because he's funny because the way he describes it and just. It's just so matter-of-fact. And King of Simps, Muhammad Ali Jr. He describes him as King of Simps. Oh, that's what that's that's from, yeah. Yeah. Because, you it's know... the guy who was describing Baki logic. Yeah. Oh, he nearly killed himself with that move. This entire stream is just me lost in various caves. <laughs> the first one big and maze-like, this one randomly generated. Oh, hey, Blaziken. You too, huh? Low bunny? <laughs> that's, okay. that's a normal type, though. Atomic really? fire punch. Yeah. No, that's, that's just his wife. <laughs> Like you to meet my wife. He looks punny. like the kind of guy who would have a low punny. Uh, got it in this 
quickly. Apnea rush. I forget the context. There was a... Uh, there was a point in time where Nintendo was trying to kind of ditch their Super Kitty image, and Miyamoto did an interview for Japanese Playboy. <laughs> ditch their Super Kitty image. That, when did that happen? The 90s? Let me look this up. Miyamoto Playboy. Wait, <gasps> Steelix? What the fuck? I taught it Fire Punch. Yeah. <laughs> What's the last one gonna be? Is it gonna be a water type? I taught it fire punch. Yeah. Okay, it was a. Uh, it was a Did You Know Gaming covered it. I guess they found the magazine, or someone donated it to them. It was Playboy in late 2002. What? 2002? Oh, weird. I'm sorry, not one interview, several interviews. Oh, it knows Fire Fang. Fortunately, I am also Fire Type. There's something about Mario 128 being mentioned. So I guess it was, yeah, it was GameCube era. I guess that would have been when he was most pressured to kind of appeal to a broader audience was when the PS2 and Xbox competition was happening. Yeah. And the GameCube was uh, kind of coming short in sales. That fucker used a full restore! What a, what a great collection of games the GameCube had compared to how it performed commercially. Yeah. Wii U had but some it... good games too. It just, now they're all being ported to Switch. Yeah, the Wii U, people... Uh... I gotta watch that What Happened episode of Wii U to, make, to see just how it fucking failed. Because uh, the guy who uh, runs that show, Matt McMuscles, the, for the former uh, Super Best Friend dude, yeah, uh, he does a show called What Happened, where he talks about like uh, the uh, what lead the lead up to how uh, to the failure of a of a game or a gaming or movie even. Yeah. He does games, gaming devices, and movies, and talks about, like, the lead-up to it. Or rather, he doesn't focus on failed stuff, he focuses on stuff with troubled histories. What happened to Spyro the Dragon? Oh, the uh, Spyro Year of the Dragonfly is on there. Oh, yeah? Like that game yeah. specifically? Yep. Uh, and uh, Skylanders, and also the uh, Toys to Life stuff. You remember Toys to Life, right? No. The, uh... It was, uh... Skylanders... Uh... Disney Infinity... Oh, just and, like that uh, pool of... Of, yeah. of games. Or that yeah. genre, and I the, suppose. Yeah, and... And, the guy, and uh, Matt was like, You know who did it the best? Nintendo. Because they didn't design their whole entire games around them. Yeah. Skylanders it was very profitable, though. Like, it didn't yeah, well, it didn't fail, commercially. Drift... Oh, yeah, that is uh, fire, fire flying. Ghost flying. Did you teach this one, Fire Punch? You know what? We make fun of him, but this is the smartest Elite Four member. He doesn't use all a single type of Pokemon. Shit, what's strong against Ghost? Dark, uh, electric, rock, ice... Oh, electric, so so he's gonna be... Wait, is electric really strong against ghosts? Against flying. Okay. I'm like, wait, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if the Wii, if we use games, if none of them had been ported to the Switch, I guess it would be in the same kind of boat as the GameCube, where it, had, it would have a lot of good games on it, just stuck there. Yeah. What did the Wii U had? It had Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. 
Mario what the 3D fuck is World. ominous wind? A ghost fart? Oh, aftermath. It pops. That's what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, that was it. I beat him. Lint's dead. Huh? Wasn't expecting this. I didn't think I'd lose. You were like, your will is overwhelming mine. Burn right down to cinders. Fine. Final fitted. to solve the mystery, who's the final Elite Four member. The final one was a dragon in Gen 3. I don't think it's dragon again. Well, we'll find out. Oh... This gen didn't really have a, a music motif. It kind of used, like, woodwinds in a lot of tracks. But it wasn't as distinct as, like, the Hoenn trumpets. Yeah. Psychic? Psychic or ghost? Shit, if it's psychic, I don't have... I don't really have anything except yeah, for, like, what? I got... I just got what, that's it. And you got Method oh, Man guess... defensively, at least. Defensively, and Goku, who's also Steel. But it's also fighting. Yeah. So it's gonna be neutral. Shit. Maybe it's Ghost. I think it's Psychic. You... Ah, you timed your arrival well. Just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. What's your punny name? Lucian. Psychic. Well, that's Lucian. not punny. Must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I am the toughest to be elite for. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Master, forgive me. I will have to go all out just this once. Mime! Uh, starting with Mr. Mime. You know what you must do. Crush. Level 59. Ash's father's midlife crisis. No, Ash's father's is Lucario, man. Yeah. Is that how it went? Thunderbolt! Oh. What? <laughs> That's not a good start for you, buddy. What Just, are you uh, doing? Hanging out in a cave here? Hey, you found it! Wow, you're a you're a big fella. What are you really? I can't wait, I gotta see this. What what is it? It's gonna be a magic card. Be <laughs> funny as fuck. Maybe the opposite. Maybe this will be Arceus. Is Oh. <laughs> well, okay, that's sufficiently ancient and mysterious, I suppose. I'm gonna beat it up. Get out of here. Oh no, it Earth dug away! Quake. That ain't good. Ah, oh, what? I think Watt's dead. I think Watt just died. Fucking earthquake! I... Oh, it survived. Good. It's vulnerable to either fire or ground, and it depends on which ability it has. It's fine. I switched it out with an Alakazam. Alakazam is very fast. He's gonna attack first, so. Uh... I, I gotta heal first. Yeah. Before I do anything. If only Watt was a dark type. True. covered in black fur. It's got, like, evil-looking eyes. How is it not a dark type? It learns bite and crunch. 
I need, I, I, I need to get out my bronze on. That's he's the only person that can withstand the psychic onslaught. Method man. Pursuit. I'm just gonna use. What? No, it doesn't know pursuit. Focus blast. It used a fighting move. Is that a fighting? Oh my god. Ah. Uh. What? Wait. Uh, gyro ball. I'll bet you're way slower than Alakazam is. Oh. As I long as it doesn't this. crit. It crit. Thank you for ruining that for me. Sorry, man. You got anyone with a high special defense? How, how slug special defense? Uh... That high. It's, uh, it's okay, I guess. Did you save before you went in? I did, yes. Just Wait! I got dragon! Uh, no, you should use physical, like Iron Tail. Because it's Alakazam. Energy ball! Grass. It's just a it's just a psychic with a bunch of different energy blasts. It's like we're back to Gen 1 again. The only counter to Alakazam is to punch it really, really hard. Full restore. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> That's okay, you lowered his defense, so if this hits, this might do it. Come on! Yeah! That did it, cool. And that crit, too. About to send in Metacham, which is psychic fighting, right? Yes. Okay. So, flying ghost. That's kind of it. Okay, I got flying. You got a flying type? Oh, yeah. No, I, I got aerial. I got... It was someone who tamed those aerial ace. That weird move. I'm gonna flip out on you. One more hit. Thunder punch! <laughs> okay, good. That didn't kill me. Oh, I didn't beat these guys? Rig. That's psychic normal, right? Or what? Yep. Psychic normal. Psychic normal. Fuck. So it's weak All to right. dark. And I guess that's it. It's, it's not weak to fighting. to fighting. Yeah, it's neutral to fighting. Well, it's neutral to fighting, which means if I close combat it, it'll probably take it out. Just using double hit. What hit? That's it. Oh no. Your defense is down. Oh no. You bastard. Well, you know okay. you're faster than it. You also have mock punch. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to have forgotten something. 
you're faster than it, so another close combat. Fucker. It is still a challenge even after some rare candies. Yeah, we just I, skipped that's the why grinding I liked it at part. 60 because I didn't wanna I didn't want it to be too easy. If I put it to 100, it would have been just a curb stop. Good thing I didn't leave it at 50. Oh, bronze on again. Uh, shit, I guess I'm doing what? Fire or ground? I would... Is Slug dead? No, he's... It might have levitate, but even then... You could probably tank some hits from it, at least. Slug's good at that. Yeah. Bronzong doesn't have high. It's gonna be a battle of walls. The siege battle. Block wars. Alright. It's got levitate. Nope! It's got levitate. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch up. You could heal Sun Wu Tang. That's what I'm gonna do. So who's the final? Who's the champion? Uh, you've seen her throughout the story. That's, that's always how the champion goes. It's like, hey, random trainer, let's be friends. Oh my god, they were the champion all along? That makes sense. Uh... Oh, okay. Uh -oh. He used a steel type, which is not very effective. Okay. Blair Blitz. Oh, it's almost 6:30. This took a little longer than anticipated. Yeah, no, that's fine. We're... <gasps> Fucker. Is it kind of psychic? It's got a berry. Damn it! Got me. Curses. It's got low special defense, right? Or I don't know. <laughs> that was that was useless. Yeah, I'd use fighting for the stab. Yeah. Well, it wasn't very effective either. But neither was that. And close combat. There we go. Ring that was bell. rough. Ring the champion is going to be a lot worse. Level up a little more if you want to. Unlike previous champions, this one actually does not have a single type. Well, I guess blue didn't either. The champion is far stronger than the weak war. You know, save here, because she might fight you as soon as you walk through. Man. Fortunately, I got a couple of max revives. Do you have, uh, how many regular revives do you have? Two. If you can, you should save the max revives for in battle. I would suggest. What a fucking match that was. That was difficult.
sucks that there's they didn't really have anything that was super good against Psychic. Yeah. Uh... So... You want me to tell you who she opens with? Yeah, that'd be helpful. It's... the Ghost Dark Pokémon, the one with no weakness. Oh no! Shit, well what can hit it? Uh, well, it's immune to normal and psychic. And okay, fighting. So. Immune to fighting. So I guess Shit. whatever is gonna hit it as hard as you can. Besides fighting. Elevated to level. Oh wow, it's special. Goku's special attack is like really high. Did he learn Aura Sphere? Yeah, he did. But it's fighting type, so it's not going to be effective for the first one. Just fighting Zapdos. You wind up just finding a lot of legendaries all over the place in this randomized version. Yeah. If only they had their actual stats. Gen 5 is going to be the latest one that we're able to randomize, so that's going to have the biggest variety of Pokemon. <laughs> like, it's going to be this plus 150 more. They're up to... There's like 650 Pokemon in that random pool. Got a lot of special attackers, I realize, this yeah. time around. I mean, I got a couple of physical. Payback. You got a lot of mixed attackers. Uh, payback is a physical dark type. Probably not worth it. If a user can use this attack after the foe attacks, this power is doubled. Well, that's pretty much guaranteed for Bronzong, so it's a 100 power yeah. dark type move. Hmm. What would I get rid of then? Gnosis is not very accurate. Yeah. It's also contingent on the Pokemon on the opponent using an attacking move, I suppose. Oh yeah. Shit. If I have to do what? K kill someone. Hmm. I gotta show you that video. It's a video about killing someone? No, there was this video called The Bounty Hunter. It's, uh... It's pretty funny. Have you played or uh, watched Sekiro? Uh, Shadows Edge twice. I've seen a little bit of it. Alright, 65. I think that'll be good. Plus, there are some people there that are level 70. I'm gonna guess her party's around the 65 area.
Hey, it's Cynthia! You've been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet. I'm grateful for, you know, saving the world and everything. That was kind of cool Together, of you. you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. Triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. Learn power, feel it emanating. That's enough talk. Get on wire here. I accept your challenge. Sheer black. He's like a goth light champion. That's the one. That's the one that you have to do the, like, stupid network play with friends in order to gain access to. Oh, and it's got pressure, too. Fuck. I gotta deal with this now, so... I guess that's a good one to deal with it. It could flinch or paralyze. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just psychic. It and uh, Sableye do have low stats to counteract the no weaknesses. Yeah, because otherwise, yeah, this match is holy shit. This is bullet shoe hugger. Oh, dark pulse. And then that full restore coming. Holy shit! All right, you know what? This is a full restore is coming. I'm going to prepare a full restore as well. That was like uh, that was like a Zelda choir. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, round two. You are the predictable. Oops. Punch crow. the hell embargo. Oh, it's mad that you used an item. You used an item too, you fucking spirit bastard. You, you, Hakusho, spirit bastard. <laughs> it's like action bastard, but with psychics instead of heroes. I decided to check, and uh, the family jewels are not been stolen. There we go. What a fucking... That was awful. Alright. Gastrodon. That's, uh... Uh... Oh, you have one of those. I don't need to tell you. Okay, yeah. Oh, water and ground. Grass. Shit, I don't have... Water and grass? Oh, yeah. It's, it's Lord Slug's one weakness. Small world. That's kind of an early game Pokemon for the champion to be using. I'm using it! I didn't say there was nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna be the champion. She Time might also for... have a Roserade. That'd be funny if that's true. Hello! Oh my Mario. god, I love your team! It's so much like my team! We should be besties! Steel... Steel fighting. I would use psychic, but that... That's not gonna be... Fire? Alright. I'm gonna deal with the recoil. Let me guess, you have an Infernape too. Do you believe they have another Fire Monkey later? Is that gonna be enough to kill it outright? Yeah. Yes! I wonder how long that embargo lasts. 
Probably after, until after I switch. I hope so. Me, me, me uh, special attack Gyarados. Water type. Water type, huh? Okay. Milotic oh. is a pain. So it's got high special defense too, then. Maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, that thing. I've seen that thing before. The most beautiful Pokemon. You are beautiful. Hey, what if we took Magikarp and made it really, really, really rare for no reason? Oh, what's well, a good thing you didn't use a special move. Yeah, you got Damn this. Damn it, store. Oh man, I'm I'm out of I'm almost out of Thunder Fang. You just need one more. And, and not only am, is it, is, am I not flinching, I'm, I'm not paralyzing him either. It's probably got a very low chance of either effect to compensate there being both of them. I kind of want to do Crunch, but I thought it. Oh what? no! A Pokemon trainer that can think. You bastard! Do you have one of these too? Guard Chomp. That's Dragon type, so I'm gonna have dragon to ground. Dragon Ground. Yeah. Fucker! What? What a what a real. That was so mean. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, it's not very effective against Steel, at least. Yeah. But I've got Dragon Pulse. Oh <laughs> no! Rest in peace, Goku! <laughs> Stupid goddamn earthquake. You didn't think this would be that easy, did you? It, oh, you know who earthquake doesn't affect? Maybe. Hold on. Levitating. Alright, cool. Yeah? What now? Suck it. <laughs> you get impact. Just gonna That's body hyperbeam, check right? you and hope for the best. And now it can't move for another turn. It smashed its head against a bell and now its head is ringing. <laughs> Psychic doesn't work against Dragon, does it? It does, it's neutral. Okay. Better than... Method Man that is was... slow and steady. Easy does it. Dragon Rush. Yep. Am I going to get Dig at the very end of the very final stream? Stay down, Garchomp. Oh, give you impact again. It's weaker than the dragon move. And it buys you an extra turn. Yeah. Now the question is, does she have any full restores left? Gonna send the Milotic. Yeah, here comes the Milotic. You saw no, Roserade. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's water type, isn't it? But it's got high special defense. Maybe. It has Mirror Coat, which can reflect special moves, but it's low enough that you'll probably kill it. 
Actually, I have an idea. A terrible, awful, devious idea. There we go. Oh, it's gonna surf. I, I, I could have killed it with Giga Drain. Okay, it didn't use mirror code. No, it, it always goes second because it's a counter move anyway, so you get your damage off. Yeah. So toxic was not necessary. It'll be fine. I can... Roserade is the last one. Okay. So she shares three of your six team members. That's a... what a coincidence. That's a hell of a coincidence. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Wait, let's get out of my way, Rayquaza. I think I won. I gotta go see the magic carp that's at the end of this cave. Is that how you get the... Yeah, I won. I'm the champion. Huzzah! <laughs> that fucking that late game switch really just <laughs> it's a you gotta create suspense for the audience just a few minutes ago you were the most, most powerful, powerful challenger and now you're the most powerful trainer in the world I like you kid we have similar tastes <laughs> You gave the support your Pokemon need to maximize their power, guide them to certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and calculating coolness. You can overcome any challenge and become your way. I don't need you Thank to tell you. me I'm cool. Take the lift. We will register your Pokemon. Together. This was good timing. I just made it to the end. Yeah. Out of my That's way, timing. ball! From ahead is the Hall of Fame. Oh, hey, it's a uh, it's Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> Jackie, last your last battle was splendid. Come, let the legend come back to life. Hmm. A child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. Truly, you are worthy of the title Diamond Dog. You are the Genome Trainer. It's only natural that I come and sh sh bask in the glory. I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. I turned 10 like three months ago. <laughs> Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please. I need you over here as well. been a long while since I last entered this group. If the last time was when I became champion, that would be quite a long time ago. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Games will be recorded for Fossey. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. Time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Pokemon are partners up here with you through the million cha challenging battles. The machine will make, will make a permanent record of your achievement. What? Tux. Yes, Lord Slug. Method Man. Lucari, Goku. And finally, Sun Wu Ten. 
34 hours and 35 minutes. Alright. Slightly under what prediction? Well, to be fair, I think there was a lot of reloading involved, which yeah. struck the timeout. So, uh, I, I misremembered Finally. a step. You misremember what? I misremembered a step. I had to go, like, talk to an NPC again or something before the thing oh. appeared in the cave. So it's still well, just an empty cave. Forever. Full of Rayquazas and Ho-Ohs, but who cares about them? <laughs> They're done or done. It's over. Hey, cool. Do you feel accomplished? Well, completing a... Completing a uh, tough a game that's very uh that's what you want to feel at the end of the game right is oh finally <laughs> the journey the hard journey is over this gives me enthusiasm to complete more long hard games though because if i can get through something as tedious as a bad pokemon generation i could probably get through dark souls whether or not this was the worst gen, I do think this was the most tedious gen. So, yeah. uh, it, it's all uphill from here. Yep. We'll play next time is uh, black and white when we get to it. And then, and then uh, yeah. Um, you say, uh, we have, uh, we've looked into 3DS emulation. I, I've looked into it, and uh, Sun Moon does work on it. I played enough of it to determine if it's working, and it does work. I'm using it for uh, Tomodachi stream. And it does chug oh, okay. a little bit for me. Maybe that's just Tomodachi specifically. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there will be some issues depending on... Uh... Go Chinose. Tell me Saito Junichi. I got New York, and then after that is France. Which I liked, most people didn't. That's a divisive one. And, oh, uh, the and Sun Moon. <laughs> oh, now it's a Jane, James Bond movie. <laughs> I, I, I say that I, I, I said to you that maybe we should we should do uh, watches of like some James Bond film, and you were like, yeah. I'm not really interested. No. It just weird, which is a shame because some James Bond movies get like fucking crazy with like the plots and the gadgets and stuff. Oh, I'm sure. It's also just fun seeing like a guy like James Bond do his work when you just are like, dude, he, he kill people and he, and he score chicks and is he there a, do uh, one-liners. Is there a particular bond that you're partial to? Oh, what? Is there a particular bond that you're partial to? Like between mm. the actors? Um, uh, my favorite two are uh, Connery and Brosnan. And uh, Connery is a classic, and Brosnan was, the, was like the first, like the Bond I was watching when I was a kid before I went look sought, sought out the older uh, ones. Yeah. And, and uh, I don't know why, he's just, he's just like very suave. Is he more, uh, is he kind of like the Connery rough and tumble Bond, or more the think your way out of problems Bond? Uh, he he thinks his way out of problems, yeah. But uh, I think I, I think my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, moments of his was in uh, was in Goldeneye. He was like going down like a like a uh, fucking. Air vent. He, he, he's like in a stall with like a Russian guard. He's like, oh, pardon me, forgot to knock, and he punches him out. Yeah. Not. Yeah. That was that was his first scene in as as Bond for uh, Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. And uh, oh man, the craziest uh, Brosnan movie was fucking Die Another Day, where he. Where he had to infiltrate a fucking ice castle in the Ant Antarctic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it was everything was made out of ice, and he's just like, he's like vodka martini, plenty of ice. I think you could spare it. <laughs> it's just insane, <laughs> fucking ice castle. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm scared so Pierce Brosnan's fucking ice cats. <laughs> okay, roll swap. James Bond finds Dr. Wheelow's castle, and the Dragon Ball guys find the James Bond villain. <laughs> well, the, well, the James Bond villain in that one was wearing, like, electric armor, so... <laughs> That was, like, controlling, like, a, a, a solar-powered, like, kill satellite. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he was he was using it to, like, blow up the minefield between North and South Korea so that North Korea could invade South Korea. Also, he he was Korean, but he changed his race to be British. Oh. Oh, as one does. Also, his heavy in the movie was a guy with a bunch of diamonds embedded in his face, in his face from a bomb. That one is actually... A lot of people don't like that one, but I like it because it's completely fucking insane. Yeah. Well, I guess that's... uh, I guess that's Gen 4. That's Gen 4. We're done with it. No Uh, more Diamond and Pearl. Finally! Finally. The albatross around her neck is over. This, this, This was a rough one. Yeah. But at least it's chill. Uh, Probably hat in time next time we get the chance to stream. Yep. continue that. We're still in the middle put, of that. We're in the middle I, of a way out. I want you to put James Bond in the thumbnail for this one. Just, oh, okay. just to fuck with people. Just because? Yeah, because it's fucking... <laughs> Apparently James Miyamoto Bond. wanted to end GoldenEye with everyone hugging. Oh, you yeah, ended the N64 game? Yeah. Oh, God, that would have been great. Just oh. everyone hugging. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time.